In response to growing campaign violence, Chad's transitional president, General Mohamed Idris Debi, has ordered his military to arrest angry civilians and make sure peace reigns in the run-up to the May 6th presidential election and afterwards. Opposition and civil society groups which dismiss the vote as a sham and are calling for a boycott acknowledge that some civilians have attacked members of the Davies campaign team. Moki Edwin Kindeka reports from neighboring Cameroon. Chad's transitional president, General Mohamed Idris Deby, says he will not allow anyone to disrupt the Central African country's May 6 presidential election. Deby is running as a candidate of the Patriotic Salvation Movement, or MPS, Chad's former ruling party against nine challengers. He told State TV on Wednesday that government troops have been quelling confrontations between his supporters and opposition followers in towns and villages across the country since the presidential campaign was launched on April 14. Deby says that when he took power three years ago, he vowed to maintain peace and order until he hands power to a democratically elected president. He says he has asked Chad's military to be on the alert because he will not allow people he describes as inexperienced and power-hungry to create chaos in Chad. He says the military will ensure that peace reigns in Chad before, during, and after the May 6 vote. Chad's transitional government claims that some opposition leaders began calling for violence after about a thousand civil society groups and 200 opposition parties publicly declared their support for Deby. He said that among those promoting violence are opposition figures whom Chad's Constitutional Council barred from running for president. Among those barred from running was Jimet Kleman Bagau, a former army colonel who is president of the Democratic Party of Chadian people. Bagau says some of his supporters, including members of civil society groups, have had daily confrontations with followers of Debi and troops in several towns and villages. Bagau claims Debi asked Chad's military to attack his supporters and civil society members who have called for a boycott of the May 6 vote. He dismissed the election as fake, accusing Debi of doing everything possible to maintain his family's grip on power, including harassing and arresting civilians who do not support his plans. Bagau says scores of opposition and civil society members are ready to prevent the election from taking place. Bagau spoke via a messaging app from Chad's capital Njamena. He did not say how his supporters and civil society groups plan to stop the election from happening. Chad's military government insists that government troops deployed to maintain peace are not harassing civilians as the opposition and civil society groups claim. Still, it acknowledges that some arrests have been made in what officials say is part of an effort to assure a peaceful election. Two other fierce opponents of military rule who were barred by the Constitutional Council from running for president are Nasu Ibrahim Negu Kusami and Rakis Ahmad Saleh. They accused Debi of using government troops to crack down on his opponents in a bid to remain in power after Chad's transitional period ends in August. They claim he is also using state resources, including government vehicles and officials, for his election campaign. Yaya Dilo Jeru, who was the leader of the opposition socialist party without borders, and a cousin of Debi was killed in March in the capital Njamena by troops who surrounded the party's headquarters. Opposition supporters say Dilo may have been killed because he was planning to challenge the general at the polls. Chad's government denies the accusation. While some opposition members are calling for an election boycott, Debi's challengers say they are counting on Chad's election commission the National Agency for Elections Management, or ANGE, to ensure a free, 
transparent and credible vote. Moki Edwin Kinzuka, VOA News, Yaoundé, Cameroon. The United Nations Human Rights Chief on Wednesday called for international attention to the ongoing war in North Kivu province in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. UN High Commissioner for Human Rights Volker Tak visited an internally displaced camp on the outskirts of Goma, capital of North Kivu, where he met with victims displaced by attacks carried out by March 23 movement rebels. He said, we must work extremely hard for peace to be achieved, he said, stressing the need to work on the underlying causes of conflict. Tuck is on an official visit to the DRC at an invitation of the Congolese government. He is due to meet with President Felix Tshisekedi and senior officials in the capital, Kinshasa. Since January, M23 rebels has intensified attacks against positions belonging to the DRC military and their allies, resulting in the expansion of the group zone of influence through the capture of major towns and villages in the North Kivu province. The escalation has led to proliferation of armed individuals bringing DRC military positions closer to displacement sites near Goma, exacerbating criminal activities and massive displacement of vulnerable populations. The Ruturu and Masisi territories are currently suffering most serious consequences of the conflicts. <laughs>